Hey, it's Chris. I'm in one of my favorite places, Cambria, California. It's a gray day, the ocean's slate gray out there. And uh, I've been talking to you a lot about writing the last couple of weeks. And thank you so much for all the comments. They've been absolutely amazing. It's been great seeing a window into what you do uh, as songwriters. And as I was walking along the shore here, I was thinking about uh, this week's blog. And I thought, you know, the gray sort of clouds and ocean work perfectly to ask the question, if this is the sync world, what kind of music works best in it? Like what is going to basically color the, the sync world in such a way that's going to work for the shows, movies, and ads you're trying to get your music into? Now, the truth is a lot of people think that you're supposed to go and write for sync, right? You're supposed to learn how to write songs and write music and maybe sell out on your art for a little bit and just sort of write something that's going to, that the directors and producers are going to want. And how do you go about doing that? Here's the deal. Really, what music supervisors, who are the people who put music into TV and film, what they're looking for is authenticity. They're looking for music that's going to help tell the story of the drama on the screen. Something that's real, something that really touches people and makes them really, you know, feel for the characters on the screen in terms of the plot and everything that's happening. So the best way as an artist to get your music into TV and film is literally to write for yourself. Write authentically, write for the people, your fans, your, the people that really admire your music and write from your heart and your soul and make something great. And then instead of writing for an opportunity saying, well, I want to get into this movie or a show and I need to write the right thing, write your song, then find the opportunity for that song. That is the very best way to go about that. And a lot of artists think that, no, you know, I kind of got to like, you know, become a composer, like I got to write for other people, you know, you do not have to. And that's the most beautiful thing about it. So, you know, think about it as a complete blank slate. Think of, think of this and just say, how is my music going to, you know, make its mark? You know, what sort of sunset is it going to be? What kind of weather is it, is it going to be? And what sort of day are you looking for in terms of fitting your music into if it was a film, right? Is it a sunny day, a gray day, and you know, whatever it is, how can I write the music for that? So if you were standing here right now beside me looking out at this, and this was the movie show or ad, what music would go with this? How would that work? You know, it's certainly not me sitting here talking. There's a road here. You can hear cars going by. The surf's nice. What about the music? How is that going to work? So that's something to think about. And always remember that, you know, sync is such an amazing thing because you can be true to yourself and find the opportunities that are going to work for your music. And that's all that's called targeting. And that's a whole other story. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. But uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you feel about that. Do you feel confident, you know, that you could get your songs into TV and film? Have you been told that your music would sound good in TV and film? And um, what's like the sort of like your top song that you think that would be kind of cool. Feel free to put a link in this one's blog. I don't often have time to listen to everybody's music. Put it in here, this blog. I'm gonna, ch I can't check them out, all of them. But I'll certainly have a listen to a, a few of them and I'll go and, and just check them out and hopefully I'll be able to respond back and uh, about your music and uh, just get to hear kind of what you're doing, all right? Have a good one, we'll talk to you next week. Leave me a comment, I uh, read them all, I respond to them all and we'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.